Hey, what's up guys? Chief Pat here and today bringing you guys a brand new Let's Play Clash Royale video and today I finally hit level 7 on my account. I actually didn't get it recorded because I got it by donating a hog rider uh, so it gave me enough XP to get up to level 7. A little bit unfortunate there but still we are finally in the big leagues and as you can see I am still using that hog freeze deck. Now if you saw the video I posted yesterday, uh, the free spell did receive a pretty significant nerf in the last update as well as the cannon did as well so I'm not sure if I'm going to be playing this deck too much longer after the balance changes go live uh, but let's go ahead and try it out today in our first couple of battles as a level seven but again we are still extremely under leveled as far as our troops go i think my commons are level six and my rares are obviously still level four. My hog rider did go up to level five. That's the first rare I got up to level five, which I'm pretty happy about. My, but my free spell is still level one, uh, which means we're gonna be going up against some pretty tough people, including this guy. He has level six giant, so that's gonna be a little bit of a pain to deal with. Of course, the one elixir skeletons are an amazing counter. The arrows are gonna help out against that minion ward. Archer should go down in just a second as well. So I think we definitely won that trade. And let's go ahead and play a hog rider down the right hand lane and let's see if we can do some good damage to the tower now it looks like he does have the skeleton army that's going to be a little bit annoying to deal with we still have our valkyrie so we can drop that right up front uh, but at this point he's starting to gain a bit of an elixir advantage so we sort of have to be careful in how we play we do have our own collectors so if we can play that at a safe time then we'll definitely do it but going against this guy could be a little bit difficult of course he just dropped another collector on the top left so now's our time to shine i want to drop that as soon as possible and hopefully we can assassinate this witch all right so witch started to make its way over the water before he dropped or I guess there's no water on this map, it's just those gears. By the way, if you haven't seen, there's only one gear that doesn't stop moving in the very center. If you guys have never seen that before, I'm sorry to ruin it, and now you're gonna be staring at that forever. Look at the center gear and how it's the only gear that never stops moving. Supercell, fix this broken game, fix that mirror, because that is just, it's unplayable when that mirror or when that gear just keeps spinning over and over again okay well now that we're back to the game let's go ahead and have our musketeer push the lane and notice what i do i get a greedy free spell in there and the musketeer is going crazy on the tower we've done about 500 600 damage so far we get about 700 to 800 damage on that tower with one free spell if you guys have never tried that if you play uh, one of those free spells when your troops at like one hp a lot of the times it can surprise your opponent which it obviously did there for him and uh yeah worked out really well and now the tower is down to 900 155 HP. All right, so I didn't call the towers HP trophies. That's definitely an improvement. Let's go ahead and drop an elixir collector in the bottom right. We've got the musketeer lining up for the center. This is an amazing push he has going down the right hand lane. He sets up with another elixir collector, but check out what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna play the free spell as well as the Valkyrie for an insane combo. We've got the cannon going crazy on the giant. And even though our tower's getting low, the minion horde means that we can get some free arrows on the rest of his troops. And uh, this was actually a really nice defense on our part. He spent so much elixir on this push and he only got about three hits with his giant onto our uh, tower and now we can make a counter hog freeze push he plays another elixir collector i guess that was uh, a little bit interesting so tower is going to go down we're going to pick up our first win as a level seven and a really nicely done against qc from singapore so he definitely was committed to those elixir problems in the end to his fault uh but yeah one crown to zero let's see how many trophies we get 29 trophies as we climb our way back up to the royal arena we're at 1849 right now and uh, no reason to not continue and go ahead and face off against aaron from anarchy all right so looks like he's a level eight it shouldn't be too bad as far as his cards go uh of course we're level seven a very beginner level seven it's yeah it's not very pretty right now let's play a musketeer in the back Looks like he hasn't dropped a card just yet. We've already gained a two elixir advantage because he hasn't dropped a card. Still hasn't dropped a card. And here comes a level nine royal giant. Wow, that's okay. That's going to be a little bit tough to deal with. Level nine royal giant against my level seven skeletons, I think, is going to get taken out in a second. Level nine minion horde. I'm going to drop a free spell on the minions. And uh, we're going to get some really good damage on this right hand side. So we're going to go close to tower for tower. And uh, getting ready to play my arrows against a... My arrows are level six. And uh, his minion horde does not die to arrows level what he is level 10 barbarians okay at this point i say wow how am i gonna deal with level 10 barbarians when my arrows are level six okay well we traded towers right there and uh <laughs> level four dark my valkyrie is level four and he has level four epics at level eight what the heck this is busted. All right. 
elixir collector in the back. At least we can save up some elixir. Hopefully, you know, gain an advantage on this guy. Okay, all right. Of course, there's a rocket, and it's gonna one-shot my elixir collector because it's probably like level eight. So what a fun, fun game of Clash Royale. This is just a, you know, really, really great time. Let's play a Musketeer in the very back. I don't even know what I want to do. Level nine Royal Giant right in my face. Drop a Skeletons. Free spell maybe to stop this Royal Giant. Okay, we spent nine Elixir to stop a six Elixir Royal Giant. He's going to end up freezing my Musketeer, so we're going to still kill it with the one Elixir Skeletons. And uh, we actually made out a positive trade right there. And with a minute left as we go to overtime, or a minute left in regular time, I'm not really sure what we can do to win. Those level 9 minions are going to be crazy. We've got to try to take those out with our arrows. And uh, we're actually going to get the Hog Rider on the tower, and the Dark Prince actually changed direction. And uh, we're going to get a Greedy Free spell down to get one more hit off with our Hog Rider, but now he has level... 10 Barbarians, a level 4 Epic in the Dark Prince, another level 9 Royal Giant with one of our Skeletons scurrying to fight back, but at this point, all is pretty much over. The Barbarians are on my tower, and I have absolutely nothing to play against them. I have to freeze this and take this tower out, or I'm going to lose the game. Uh, meanwhile, my tower on the right-hand side is going to die. Valkyrie onto these Barbarians. We are tied 2-2. Two to two. I have no idea how this is even close. He's got a level... Okay. All right. Well... That was, a, that was a fun, fun game of Clash Royale right there. All right, good game, Aaron. Thanks thanks for taking my, my 24 trophies. Okay. All right, let's take a look at those levels right there. Level 1 Free Spell versus level 4 Rage, level 4 Freeze, and level 4 Dark Brands. Okay, I like that. I like that. Okay, what about level 10 Barbarians versus level 6 Arrows? Okay. Okay, I'm feeling good. Level 7 Rocket versus level level 4 Valkyrie. Hmm. All right. Well, that's uh, that's just a... Uh, yeah, okay. Okay. All right, let's go into the next battle, and uh, let's try to get bleach our eyes after that one. We got Crazy Sky of the Park. Okay, of course, level nine Spear Goblins. Hey, what would be a what would be a fight against me without level nine commons? All right, we're gonna drop some skeletons maybe to help out against this witch. See how we surround the witch, placing him optimally to get some good damage. But of course, he is a level three witch, so it's not gonna die easily. And I have to end up dropping my arrows, which made that trade in his favor. Valkyrie's gonna go down in the left hand lane, so we'll drop a cannon over here for the giant. I don't think my Valkyrie's gonna, yeah, aggro back over to that giant. A little bit too late right there. And it uh, looks like we're just gonna have a Valkyrie running down the lane. And he has a hidden Tesla, so that Tesla is gonna be extremely annoying to deal with. Alright, well, even though the Spear Goblins were level 9, the giant was only level 5, so that's definitely doable. My Hog Rider's level 5. So I guess that's that's pretty fair. Uh, Spear Goblins are going to go down. Still getting one shot by the Musketeer. Musketeer will get a couple of shots off against the tower uh, due to the fact that he played the Tesla one tile too far back. And uh, now we can pump up with our second Elixir Pump and uh, hopefully snowball this game out of control. That's the first time I've said snowball in like four videos. You guys always make fun of me, but that was... I've been holding off. All right, Valkyrie. We got the Hog Rider. We've got the Musketeer. He's got a Minion Horde. That's not very fun. That's going to kill all my troops. Okay, we still got the Musketeer, and the Hog Rider maybe got one hit off against the tower, so Musketeer's gonna take the Witch pretty low. It is a level 3 Witch, though, and it lives with, like, 1 HP. I'm gonna drop Skeletons, and the Witch is gonna one-shot the Skeletons. This level 3 Witch is ridiculous! Oh! Alright. Valkyrie. Doing nothing. Level 3 Free Spell, probably. Level 4 Free Spell. Probably a level 8 Free Spell. Gonna freeze my Valkyrie for, like, two years. We got the Musketeer going against the Giant, and his tower is at 1,853 HP. I am having, you know, a fun, fun time with Clash Royale. Let's go with the Hog Rider down the right-hand lane. That's going to hop the water and go for the Tesla. I don't know how that went for the Tesla. That was so far away. That was ridiculous. It jumped over the water for some reason. I have no idea why. Elixir Collector in the back. Level 8 Witch is going to go down the lane, practically level 8, and uh, yeah, we're going to drop a Musketeer, but this one is, uh, this one's not looking too pretty with 30 seconds left. we got to make a big push down the right-hand lane. We've got our Skeletons, we're going to Minion Horde, our Arrow down the Minion Horde as well as the Tower. Look at our Hog Rider, it's going to be pretty fat and get stuck onto that Giant before we drop our Free Spell in just a moment. Let's freeze both the Tesla as well as the Tower. The Witch is going to go down in just in time, and as our Valkyries run down the lane, I'm not sure we have enough damage to get this tower down because the giant is just so tanky and uh, another fun match inside of the builders workshop wow you know some days you just have more fun than other inside of clash royale and uh this this is just this is just one of them okay oh 38 trophies all right 
All right, you know, okay. What a what a great time to play some Clash Royale. All right, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna break my iPad and my laptop right now. I'm just gonna you know casually sign off, and a really really fun time against. Okay, all right, bye.